We know plants depend on sunlight to fuel their lives. Photosynthesis is a remarkably efficient way of making nutrients. Plants use solar energy to transform carbon dioxide and water into sugars and oxygen, generating fuel for themselves and air for us to breathe. This all happens inside specialized organelles called chloroplasts, where green pigment molecules called chlorophyll capture light and make life possible. But what if animals could harness this incredible process too? Amazingly, a few animals have managed to harness the power of photosynthesis. Take the Sacaglossin sea slug. When it feasts on photosynthetic green algae, it can incorporate the algae's chloroplasts directly into its own cells, a remarkable process called kleptoplasty. These chloroplasts keep pumping out nutrients long after the algae are digested, effectively turning the sea slug into a solar-powered organism. Other animals like clams, flatworms, and reef-building corals use a different strategy. Rather than stealing chloroplasts, they form partnerships with algae in a process known as symbiosis. Coral reefs are a striking example. Coral polyps house colonies of algae called zooxanthellae, which supply most of the coral's energy during the day, in exchange for a safe home in the coral's tissues. But there is only one vertebrate animal known to harness solar power, the spotted salamander. Once these salamanders lay their eggs in water, aquatic algae colonize the embryos, eventually integrating into their cells. Algae inside the developing salamander provide crucial nutrients, helping the embryos survive better and develop faster. It's a remarkable natural form of solar-powered sustenance. All of which begs the question, could we mammals ever photosynthesize? What if chloroplasts could be incorporated into mammalian cells, cells that are normally incapable of photosynthesis? To test this, scientists in Japan introduced chloroplasts from algae directly into cultured hamster ovary cells, a cell line commonly used in scientific studies, creating hybrid plant-animal cells, essentially making animal cells that can gain energy from sunlight like plants. The breakthrough that could have major benefits for growing organs and tissues for transplant or lab-grown meat. The interesting study was published by the scientists at the University of Tokyo in the October of 2024. The idea here was to see if chloroplasts could survive and perform photosynthesis inside an animal cell environment. Algae were chosen for their photosynthetic efficiency and adaptability. First, the chloroplasts of the red alga Cyanidioskizin maroli, also commonly known as schizin, were separate from using the centrifugal tube. But it is really important to know why did scientists use schizin and not any other algae or plant. Schizin, which is known to exist in highly acidic and volcanic hot springs that reflect prehistoric Earth environmental conditions, has retained most of the primitive characteristics of ancestral algae. This unique property enables the schizin chloroplast to remain viable in animal cells for long periods. Many other algal cells become inactive at temperatures below 37 degrees Celsius, which is the optimal temperature for cultured mammalian cells, but schizin cells remain active at this temperature, making it the top candidate for the research. Despite these hurdles, the experiment delivered promising results. The team measured oxygen production and carbon fixation levels to confirm photosynthetic activity. Photosynthetic animal cells may seem like science fiction, but the potential applications are intriguing, especially in the field of cellular tissue engineering. Opening possibilities of lab-grown tissues, such as artificial organs, artificial meat, and skin sheets. In the words of Professor Sachihiro Matsuniga, the corresponding author of the research paper, we expect planimal cells to be game-changing cells, which in the future can help us achieve a green transformation to a more carbon-neutral society. We will continue to develop innovative biotechnologies with the aim of realizing a sustainable society and the reduction of carbon dioxide emissions.